what I have here is something kind of nifty. It's actually a GE prototype of the Lucalux lamp. I don't know if it was the first prototype, but it's definitely an early prototype, probably in the 50s, early 60s maybe. And uh, it, has, it has a medium by post base. It's made in the shop. Everything's, the frame's all welded inside, out of stock. The arc tube, the end seals are glued on with some kind of glue. And you can see the lamp had burned before it's, it's been lit. No, I haven't tried to light it. It's, it's probably the only one of its kind in existence, and I'm kind of leery about that. It's got a long exhaust tip on the top here, too, which is quite, quite interesting and typical of a lamp that was made in the laboratory. I would imagine it's a 400 water. It could be a 250. I don't know, but in those early days, they were pretty much the only two sizes that were made. But remember, this is a pre-production lamp, so I have no idea. I don't know what they use for an igniter to start the thing or anything. All I know is that this is a prototype Lucalux lamp from GE. It's, it's a cool lamp, I got to admit, for so, even though it's sodium. It's a really cool lamp because it's one of the first ever made. And it's all handmade. I, I believe it's made out of Pyrex glass, too. And you can even see where they hand did all the joints on the bulb and, you know, did them all together, you know. I mean, this, this thing is definitely a laboratory specimen. And it was actually John Harnden had it, and uh, he gave it to me for my collection, so it's in with my bulbs now. But uh, it's... You know, I don't like HPS, but I'll tell you, I like this one because I know it's something that's a real piece of history.